So this woman, she posts, it says, impact on fat people. Automatically, I'm already triggered. Impact on fat people. It's... Coach Greg, and I'm here with... Ali Smith. And I got a beef with a female, and I need to see if she's on my side or on her side. Am I overreacting? Do I think that she's crazy for nothing? Going to see if you agree, disagree with us. Is she right? What's going on? So this is what happened. And she's already deleted her post. So you know it's controversial. So listen to this. She has a petition, nearly 25,000 people. She's trying to convince the government to get rid of food labels. She said, no restaurant should ever have a food label. Ever. You can't know how many calories there are in it. It's just bad. Oh, tell people how much fat's in it, sugar, calories. Uh-uh. Get rid of it. Imagine, you're not to know ever again how many calories or anything. Oh, that'll save the world. There won't be any eating disorders. Does that sound like it would work? No. So it says, yes, calories on menus is a big deal. Here's why. It's like, if you don't want to know, don't look. Just see the number and don't care. Exactly. I go to Starbucks. I see the menu with all the calories on yeah, it. Yeah, I like and that. And I look at the cookie that I always eat, which is the ginger molasses cookie. And I see that it has, I think it's 360 calories. And I didn't know that for years until they started putting it yeah, on. Yeah, so how is that a bad thing? I want to know how many calories in a cookie. And it says 360. And this one says 160. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm gonna go I with want this a one. lower calorie cookie. I'll go pick that one. And maybe you want the higher calorie. Maybe you're bulking and you need more energy. You just went on a bike ride. Yeah. Pick the higher one. But no, this woman, she wants no calories. You have to guess. Well, that's a little silly. You know, when I go to the liquor store, I don't want them to say how much alcohol is in there anymore. <laughs> nope. I don't want to know. This wine, vodka, I don't want to know. I'm going to play the game. It's a game. Drink. <laughs> I just want to drink. It's causing <laughs> alcoholism. When you know how much percent. I want to get drunk. It says 40% proof or 50%. That's here. the one I'm going oh, for. That's bad. They need to ban. Ah, Coach Greg starting a petition. No more labeling of alcohol drinks. I'm an alcoholic. I don't want to know if there's alcohol in that drink or not. You shouldn't tell me. If there is, there is. How would that work? I think the problem is that, you know, there's a lot of sensitivity now in this world. So if you get offended by something, it's like, oh, we have to change the way the world works. Everyone's it's like, offended. Yeah, everyone's <laughs> offended. Just don't look at it. I don't understand why rules are changed based on the minority of people. You know what I mean? It doesn't Absolutely. make sense. Absolutely. It's ridiculous. Impact on people with eating disorders. Obsession with calorie counting is a common characteristic of multiple eating disorders. People in recovery from said eating disorders work so hard to eliminate calorie counting and seeing them all over the menus will cause relapses. <laughs> that, think about how much of a stretch that is. Do you really think that people with eating disorders that are counting their calories and that maybe they shouldn't, you really think that not having the calories listed on a food item is going to help them? Dude, if you have a restaurant, you got to you gotta have the, the calories next to everything. I've coached tons of people with every kind of eating disorder you can ever imagine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I was thinking. And macros. Yes. Yeah. Dude, because I was thinking, I remember going to places, I was like, come on. Yeah. 2021, you got to put the calories on this. Yeah. The cal they will literally avoid eating anything that they are unsure of the calories. Go to a restaurant and it says a steak and rice and potatoes, whatever. And they say, I don't know how many calories is in this, so I won't eat, eat it. it. Refuse yeah. to eat it. They'll refuse to eat their parents cooking. They'll refuse to eat anything that they don't know how to track calories to the gram. Exactly. Literally, it's like, oh, well, I can't eat this because I don't know how much butter went into it or margarine in like an entire dish of something they're picking out like one thing that may have added extra calories to it 100 percent. so you think that not putting the calories is going to help they're going to say oh how much butter and oil was put into this salad or potato or french fries or, or what they're going to be like i don't know the calories so i'm not going to eat it so you really think it's going to benefit people with eating disorders to not have the information knowledge is power don't turn restaurants into a place of shame and fear. If it's that big a deal and you're suffering to that extent, don't go to the restaurant in the first yeah, place. avoid those places that are triggers to you. We're not going to take away the places because they're triggers just to you and maybe some other people. Allie, she likes to spend money. And you know what? I petition, you get rid of the price tags. 
You can't know. You just, it could cause a shopping disorder. What's it called? Shopophobia. Uh, shopaholic. Shopaholic. You go there and it says $900 on that dress and the other one's 200 Why should we know that? You should just buy the dress you want and go to the counter and pay with a credit card and they shouldn't tell you how much it costs. No one should know how much you're spending because why would you know that? It could cause a problem. Oh my goodness, I spent $900 on a dress. That, that's bad. It's causing me stress. That was a good analogy, babe. <laughs> I come up with good analogies, people. That is just as stupid as that. Oh, I know. I like to drive fast. They should get rid of the speedometer on vehicles. Petition to get rid of the speedometers because I'm going to want to drive fast. I want to see how fast I'm going. So if you get rid of it, it maybe it'll help. Yeah. It's pretty senseless when you actually think about this it. This is the level of moronicity that's going on when people think that it's helpful to take away information, take away knowledge from other people. I want to know how many calories are in food, not because I have an eating disorder, because I want to know how many calories are in food. How is that bad? So this woman, she posts, it says, impact on fat people. Automatically, I'm already triggered. Impact on fat people. It's impact on people who are fat. You're identifying this person as a fat person, not a person who is fat. Tackling obesity can easily be interpreted as ridding the country of fat people. Is that a stretch? Bit of a stretch. A little bit. A little bit of a stretch. Take a moment to think about how this makes them feel. So we're trying to rid the world of fat people, people who are obese, by putting the calories on nutrition labels. So, so anyone that's overweight is going to read that label and think, they hate me as a human being. They don't want me to exist on this planet. I guess if you literally think of everything as a negative, if, if everything you read, you read in a negative way, and that's your personality, I mean, I can understand maybe the way... Some people would perceive that, but how about they're trying, people are trying to help, you know, people are trying to help you get healthier because we care. Why is it we want to rid people? Like when you read that. If you are a fat person, again with the fat person, living in the UK today, please know that you are not the problem with the UK, the government is. It's just information. We're trying to tell people how many calories are in something because it's information. Or like when you buy a pack of cigarettes, in the insert, it shows you all these horrible things that could happen when you smoke. All the commercials with drunk driving or smoking when you're high or driving when you're high. Like it's giving you a, a warning just in case you care, just like this is doing. Yeah. Hey, this could happen if you eat this many calories. This could happen if you smoke cigarettes. You may die. And, it's, and it literally doesn't even say on a Big Mac, eat this and you might die. No. It doesn't say this could kill you. Yeah. It just says 800 calories, 30 grams of fat. But that's how she's, she's taking it as because you're telling me how many calories, you're telling me you're, you're triggering me because I either have an eating disorder or I'm overweight or whatever. Not just, it's, here's the information. Make your own choice. So why do I want calories on the food menus? Because for example, when I get a dessert and it says cheesecake, strawberry, 800 calories, chocolate, 1200. I might think, well, I like them both the same, but I'd prefer to have less calories because I don't want to gain weight. Or maybe I'm bulking for powerlifting and I need more calories. And my coach says, you need to eat 5,000 calories to gain weight. I need to be able to choose what food I eat to get the appropriate amount of calories. And if it doesn't list it, am I to guess? Just like an alcoholic, if I can't drink alcohol, should they not say there's alcohol in this drink? If I have a peanut allergy, should it not say there may, may contain, contain nuts? nuts? Really, it's the same thing. It's just a number. It's just information. What you choose to do with it is what you choose exactly. to do. Exactly. Just ignore it if you don't like it. Yeah. If you don't want to see it, close your eyes. So hopefully that helps. Hopefully you agree with us that you should have as much information as possible on food labels because let us make the decisions for ourselves. Ending it here. GregDuset.com for coaching. All about Ali. One of these years, a new video will come up. Subscribe, click the bell button, buy my cookbook, buy my coaching plans, and subscribe, click the bell button, follow me on the gram and the talk, and until next time, we're out.